Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. This will just take a sec, sir. out there and tell you that the winner will again be presented with champagne on the podium after a few years of rigorous part of the line. That is real champagne the Easter region of France. Fun fact of the day for the first Listen, Miller, I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signal from Sierra. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. Tell you, what, you double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use this as a lap skip Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. One of the cron... engine you got in those cars. How's he doing? No. 
judging by the state of the car when they brought it back in, I'd say he's not in great condition. I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving erratically that last lap before the accident. You think anyone, you know, helped make the accident happen? It wouldn't be the first time during these races. Remember two years ago when that driver from East Tiburu got totally smashed? Someone... Yo, Gearhead! A word, please? <laughs> Yeah, Trevor Jones just wants to put California behind him and get on him and stay in the race for as long as possible, and then who knows what might happen. Wouldn't be the first time to be this way. Remember two years ago when that driver from Eastern Europe got totally smashed? Hey! John, it's Grace. Look, I'm in it. You, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? I suppose I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last-minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today... It's your day to shine. Let's do this. John, it's Grace. Look, I'm in a deep hole. One of my guys just jumped ship and I need a replacement ASAP. Are you available? Shit. All right, got to run. Talk later. Coming in. Everyone on your stations now. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Moses Lee, ladies and gentlemen, is on the way to the podium.
Please don't. Oh! That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade moneymen. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Huh? Command, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Good to see plenty of... What he's doing? It's a beautiful vehicle, that's for sure. I understood from the briefing earlier that we're just supposed to grab him if something happens to it. No poking around the engine or anything like that. Yeah, Knox is a genuine technical genius. He's really protective about his projects. Prefers to fix everything himself, apparently. Don't worry about Security grabbing him. Rules, yeah. If anything goes awry, you'll see him down here as fast as lightning. Gotcha. Robert Knox has a race car on display in the Expo building. say this should get Knox's undivided attention.
Lovely day. I swear to God, if someone's been tampering with the car, heads will roll. I need you to get in the car. Don't touch anything until I tell you. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. <laughs> you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. 
No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 